What's going on guys? My name is Mr. Hurricane and welcome back to the Minnesota Gophers Dynasty. Week 7 is here and the Minnesota Gophers at 3-2 and two are facing 4-1 and one Northwestern. Now you may remember this matchup last year. Northwestern was 0-5 at the time and knocked us off by a big margin, one I don't really want to remember. This year we're coming in as the underdogs after our victory last week against Purdue 27-24 on a last second field goal by Ryan Santoso. We're on the road again today as this marks the midway point of this current season. Minnesota at 3-2 trying to move on to 4-2 and, and after what Northwestern did to us in our house last year, we'd love to get some revenge. Week 7 has arrived, Minnesota begins with the football. And quarterback Mitch Leidner back to pass. Fires, Duckett coming across the middle, makes the grab, breaks a tackle, and Duckett's at the marker. He gets 11 and a Minnesota first down. Mitch Leidner coming off of a three touchdown passing performance, back to pass again, fires over the middle, and Tyler Hartman, the fullback, unable to make the grab. That forces third down and 12. Duckett comes in motion to the right side of the formation. Leidner, nobody open, downfield, and Leidner gets sacked. Minnesota will end up punting after Oscar Crosby gets into the backfield and Matt Albitty leads the Northwestern Wildcats out for their first offensive drive. Albitty fakes the handoff, fires back over the middle, and it's cut by Mike Washington, the tight end, for a six yard gain. Now the box is stacked, trips formation left, Albitty over the middle, and come on, Jack Lynn! So many dropped interceptions lately. Lynn has had those opportunities, he's just not making the catches. Third and four, all Viddy throwing deep down the field, and his pass just goes out of bounds. He may have been getting rid of it, but nonetheless, Northwestern punts, and Minnesota will try this again. Five and a half to go in the first. Leidner off the play action, bootleg right, and puts it up deep, leaping and almost intercepted by Sean Oliver. It was intended for Drew Olatarski. Second and ten, diamond package. This is Berkeley Edwards, the deep back, taking the counter play to the left side and picking up eight yards. Edwards actually led us in carries last week with 15, more than Martindale. This time Edwards motions to the slot, Leidner throwing, and a free rusher as Tyler Hartman did not pick up his assignment, and Jalen Prater sacks Mitch Leidner. Not much offense so far in the first quarter as Northwestern begins their second drive. Alvedi hands off inside the Justin Neal who has great speed. He works inside for a pickup of about eight yards. Second down and two. Minnesota blitzes. Alvedi open over the middle cut by Ralph Hill. Ankle tackled by Jack Lynn, but a 20-yard reception puts Northwestern in field goal range. Northwestern hurries it back up. Justin Neal up the middle. Big hole in the defense. And Neal picks up a big 18-yard gain, setting up Northwestern inside the red zone. Neal will get it again, working up the middle once more as he's tackled by the last line of defense, Antonio Johnson, while still picking up nine yards. Now knocking on the door, all bitty. Pitch to Neal, and there's a hit. Sam Graves showing he's not just a cover guy, he can make a play physically as well. Third down and five, Alvitti back to pass, end zone, and caught for the touchdown. Touchdown reception made by Kyle Cairo as Antonio Johnson tried to knock it up the last second, but he hung on, and Northwestern scores first. Seven nothing Wildcats. They come up in the 3-3-5 defense and Leidner to throw on first and 10. He feels pressure and looks to escape. Leidner with room across the 30 to the 35 and shoved out of bounds after picking up 14 yards. Now on second and 13, Kirkpatrick lines up in the slot. Northwestern brings the blitz. Leidner going long and it's tipped by John Hughes looking for Adam Kirkpatrick deep in one-on-one -on -one coverage. Third down and 13. Leidner, there's the blitz again. He slides left, fires left, and it's caught by Jamel Harbison all by himself. 25 yards and a first down. Minnesota comes out in the diamond package. Hand off to Berkeley Edwards, but not much room. He may have gotten one. And the Minnesota Gophers in another passing situation on third down and nine. Duckett comes in motion behind Leidner. Now runs to the right, and Leidner takes a shot deep to the end zone. And this one is intercepted by Sean Oliver. Tried to go deep again for Drew Olatarski. 
We've tried to go deep three times in this first quarter, and it's just not working. Northwestern takes over. Justin Neal wrapped up in the backfield. There's Dan Smith, who I think is having a great junior season. Third down and 13 is forced. Hill comes in motion. Alvidi back to pass. Good pass protection as he fires outside, and Ralph Hill will get the conversion. 15 yards on the catch as Minnesota was sitting in a soft zone. First down, Alvidi throws it outside, and open is Morris for another 12 yards as Northwestern crosses the 50. We're seeing this pass game start to open up. Now first and 10, Neal gets it as Graves makes the tackle along with Ray Dixon. Neal gets another seven yards, however. Third down and four for Northwestern. All Vinny back to pass, and this one is picked! Jack Lynn got it across the 50. Jack Lynn's gonna make up for the dropped interceptions with a pick six. Minnesota has tied it up. I knew we had to catch one eventually. It was only a matter of time, and the senior linebacker gets his first career touchdown. The defense ties it up, and Northwestern's offense returns to the field. Handoff, Justin Neal. Once again, they're not doing anything special. Just going up the middle and out blocking our linebackers, getting guys out of the way. Justin Neal, another nice carry of eight. Second down, Justin Neal. Once again, right up the middle as Justin Neal gains six yards on Northwestern first down. 7.21 to go in the first half. Neal gets it again. This time the linebackers were prepared. Justin Neal stopped right at the line of scrimmage by Jack Lynn, who had the big play on the last drive. Third down and 10. This is a screen for Dole. We can cover these as Dole will come nowhere near the first down marker. And Minnesota's defense has forced a field goal attempt. It's a long one. About 57 or 58 yards, and he has the leg, but not the accuracy. And Minnesota will take over at their own 41. First play of the drive is the jet sweep to Doug Duckett. Key block by Martindale. Duckett across the 40, and he's cut at the Northwestern 35-yard line, 25-yard gain. Now six minutes remain in the first half as Leidner on a long second down. Out of the backfield of Martindale makes the grab and cannot juke up the defender. Took a hard shot and gained eight yards. Third down and long for Minnesota's offense. Leidner needs 13, has time, fires, and it's tipped to the last second. Leidner looking for Doug Duckett. This Northwestern pass defense off to a good start. Leidner only three of nine passing. Ryan Santoso attempts the 54-yard kick and he has the leg. Kick is good by Santoso, and Minnesota has their first lead on the day. 10 to seven, five minutes to go in the second quarter. Alvidi fakes, and they'll keep it to the outside. Gets a block on Sam Graves, and Alvidi being chased down by Ray Dixon, but picks up a big 42 yard run. Our run defense is too many holes on a week to week basis. Alvidi passing in third and six, and K. Rowe comes through with another big grab. He had the impressive touchdown catch earlier in the game. Second down, option left, and Alvidi goes down in the backfield. Nice play by Jerry Jackson. We don't see him very often, but we will eventually. Third down and 10. Alvidi goes with the screen to Dole, and no one's there. Dole, man of the three, driving through a tackle, and he scores a touchdown. We scored on a similar play last week where there was just nobody there on the screen. Northwestern takes the lead 14 to 10. Minnesota has three minutes as Leidner throws over the middle to his tight end Kirkpatrick for a 13 yard gain. We do have plenty of time. You can see the stat on the screen right now, only 74 yards of offense as Leidner turns around and hooks up with Duckett who came in motion on a fake jet sweep and picks up eight yards. Third and two, Leidner, read option, fakes and runs ahead for the first down and he slides. This is a very stingy Northwestern defense. We'll stick with the running game. Martindale up the middle and the running game just cannot get going in the first half. That's a two yard gain for Martindale. Third down and 12, Leidner will just spread it out and go five receivers. And he throws underneath the David Clark and he can't make the grab. Wouldn't have been close to a first down, but Minnesota is stopped again. Our offense accountable for three points in the first half. 33 seconds to play in the second as Alvidi hooks up with Morris coming across the middle. An 18-yard reception puts them in Minnesota territory. 24 seconds on second and 10. Alvidi back to the middle and caught by Washington as Northwestern is in field goal range. 
Our defense will try to allow no more than three as Northwestern has 15 seconds. All Viddy downfield, picked off! Paul Patrick, the dime cornerback! And Northwestern's drive has been ended! Nice play by Patrick, getting his head around in time, and Northwestern will only carry a four-point lead into the half. Good competitive first half, but our offense really has to step up. The third quarter gets underway. Northwestern begins with the ball, and they lead by four points as they get started with a handoff to Justin Neal. A run to the outside as they ran inside quite a bit in the first half. Neal picks up seven. That is his 14th carry on the day. Second and three. Runs the option left, and it's a pitch forward, and it's caught by Ray Dixon. Minnesota ball. What was that? It was a shovel option, and Alvidi panicked when he was caught from behind, tried to pitch it forward, and Minnesota gets the football. Here we go, defense. Thank you. First and 10, Mitch Leidner. He's got pressure in the pocket, runs to the outside, surprising speed as he finds Wolitarski. That was magic play. That wasn't even real. I'm not even sure how this happened. Second and goal. Inside handoff. Kevin Martindale. He'll go in for six. Untouched. Touchdown, Gophers. We've retaken the lead. I was not prepared for such an exciting beginning to the third quarter, but I'm a big fan of it. All video will try again after the shovel option botch. He throws outside to an open man. That's Morris who gets close to a first down. Our plan is to keep blitzing Alvidi and make him make another mistake. Alvidi this time fakes out Henderson and runs up the middle, converts on third down and one, gets much more than that 13 yards on the run. He's got some very good speed. Third down and five, Alvidi back to pass. Lobbing outside and overthrows it out of bounds and Northwestern is stopped on fourth down and five. Minnesota takes over. Our defense has been a big help to the scoreboard as Minnesota will try to help out the defense as Berkeley Edwards jokes a safety out of his shoes in Northwestern territory and a 40-yard gain finally get a spark from this running game. That and the Doug Duckett jet sweep. But look at that. Berkeley, I'm sorry I didn't play you earlier. You deserved it. You've earned it, actually. Trying to establish some consistency. This is Tyler Hartman, the fullback, running up the middle, and he picks up a nice gain of nine. Third down and one, offset pistol, and we go to the ground again, and maybe we pressed our luck too much. Martindale stopped in the backfield, lost a pair of yards, and Minnesota will attempt the field goal. Ryan Santoso knocks it through, 20 to 14. Minnesota only a six point lead. The offense not playing so stellar, but the defense definitely making up for it. Northwestern, 318 to go in the third quarter. Handoff goes to Neal, and this has just been business as usual for them today. An eight yard carry as he nears 20 carries on the day. Alvidi passing on second and short, fires over the middle, and Kyle Cairo with the reception. 12 more for Northwestern. Again in go for territory as yes, there's the blitz again, but Northwestern picks it up. Alvidi out of the pocket, throwing it deep to the end zone, and picked off for the third time. Sam Graves. Nice job by our pass defenders today. Third interception as a team, four turnovers overall. I think they're playing a great game so far, but our offense is not giving them a big help. Leidner passing on second down and 16 as he finds Duckett across the middle. He gets five, but Minnesota's really got to get a conversion here. Third down and 11. Northwestern drops back and only brings three. And one gets to Leidner, and he loses the ball. Minnesota recovers, but a three and out after another turnover. Both defenses are really playing a great game. Less than a minute to go in the third as Alvidi trying to run the read option. And that time, Jack Lynn makes the stop in the backfield. Nice game for Jack, forcing third down and five. Minnesota three-man front, and that's all they bring. Alvidi, pass outside, caught by Morris at the marker. First down, Northwestern, a nice spot for them. Second down and two, 13 seconds. Alvidi fakes. He's got room to the outside, looking for blocks, and Dan Smith catches him from behind. A nine-yard carry. Nearing the end of the third quarter, eight seconds to go, tight shotgun set. Alvidi with pass protection, fires outside, great strike, 
and it's caught by Ralph Peel. That's a 12-yard gain. Paul Vitti has made some very nice outside passes. And the third quarter comes to an end as Marcus Dull carries for 12 yards. This run defense just being manhandled. It is now the fourth quarter. Down by six, Alviti fakes inside, calls his own number, and Matt Alviti will give Northwestern the lead pending the extra point. Read option again as Alviti fakes and speeds off to the end zone. 21 to 20 in favor of the Wildcats. Our offense now has to find their groove. Counterplay left, good play for Berkeley Edwards as he runs across the 45 and a 14 yard pickup. First down and 10, seven minutes to play. Hand off Edwards, he'll go inside, and nice up front blocking as this time Edwards picks up five. But Minnesota, we have not been good on third down today. We need three. Leidner with time, and hooks up with Jamel Harbison. 10 yard reception, Minnesota first down. We're nearing field goal range, less than six minutes to go. Leidner inside, hand off Berkeley Edwards, and we're finally establishing this ground game which is also allowing us to take time off the clock. Second down, Lamar Washington this time falls blocks to the left, and Washington picks up another first down for Minnesota. Nice job of the ground game on this possession. But on third and five, pass game has to step up. Leidner rolling out of the pocket, has to make a decision across his body. Caught first down, Drew Wolitarski, 12 yards, and it's first down and goal to go. Big catch by Wolitarski, and now we're gonna go back to the ground. Washington up the middle, nowhere to go. Not even a yard on the game. Third down and goal, Minnesota split shotgun. Leidner three wide, just hands it off to Martindale who runs inside the five, but not much further. Minnesota stopped on fourth down and goal. We are playing conservative, we're going for the field goal. Leidner, a chip shot, and Minnesota has the lead, but our defense has to protect it with two minutes and 46 seconds remaining. They've already made plenty of big plays today. Alvidi on first and 10, looks to scramble and gets sacked by Ray Dixon. Only loses one, but it's a play that keeps the clock moving, and Alvidi, second and 11, over the middle, caught by Schwaba, first down, Northwestern which of course stops the clock. Northwestern does have all three of their timeouts. Minnesota rushes four. Alvidi in the pocket and is sacked again. This time it was Owen Salswoodell. Minnesota's cranking up the pressure. Second and 18, Alvidi pressure again. Throw outside short, caught by Washington and he'll go nowhere after the catch. He gets four yards, third down and 14. Our defense has been great on this possession. Alvidi looking to go deep, and he's got a man open. It's Kyle Cairo. He got behind the defense, and he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Northwestern. We couldn't hold them on third and long. This was a zone belonging to Antonio Johnson, and he let Alvidi go deep on us. Minnesota has given up the lead. Northwestern will go for two to make it a touchdown game. Alvidi, end zone, caught by Neal. It's a six point game with a minute 27 to play. Our offense needs a touchdown. We've struggled today, but we need to score. Martindale gets the handoff, running inside and gains six, one of his longer runs on the day. Minnesota getting back to the line, minute 11 to go. Handoff incoming for Martindale again. Gets past the first level and first down to Martindale at the 40 yard line. But eventually, we've got to make a play in the pass game. Mitch Leidner back to pass over the middle, and it's intercepted by Gordeen. Mitch Leidner overthrows Drew Wolitarski, and that may be it for our offense, who has been a complete letdown today. Wolitarski was open, just a couple yards ahead was Leidner. And the Wildcats are a first down away from ending this game. They've run the ball very effectively today. 56 seconds remain in the game. Handoff, Alvidi the dull. Running to the right side. Block on Graves. The edge is sealed. And Northwestern will win the game as Minnesota falls to 3-3 three three on the season. A heartbreaker in the fourth quarter. Defense gives up the score. And the offense cannot answer back. 
a bad game for the Minnesota offense, but I want to take a look at that last play where we gave up the touchdown. You can see it's a cover three, and I probably made the mistake of leaving Antonio Johnson. Not that a, a half of the field is too much for a safety, but we could have made it so that it was two guys covering the open half of the field, but still, he let the, deep, the receiver get behind him, and it's just a terrible way to lose. And uh, the overthrow, oh man. Ugly end of the game. Minnesota has alternated wins and losses the entire season. We began with a win. We go win-loss, win-loss, win-loss. So I guess next against UTSA, the trend says win. But remember, last year, UTSA pulled off the upset, beating us. And this year, we can't afford to let our guard down. We're 3-3. Three and three. We have to find some consistency and establish a winning streak. And we have to make sure we're not relying on one side of the football to win us games. Thanks for watching, guys. The loss sucks. Hopefully we can rebound against the Roadrunners. I'll see you guys next time against UTSA. Have a great day, guys. See you then.